So, unique coordinate uterus on HSG is a favorite uh, topic of the examiner. Now, uh, there is a thickening of the calvarial margin, which is a typical case of phages. Phages is a thickening expansion of the deep lobe. Then, uh, uh, in the CD of the thorax, what you can see? Aneurysm, aortic aneurysm hmm? of the descending uh, iota. And another thing is, you can see a false lumen in that. False lumen is a sign of dissection of iota. Uh, then, uh, abdominal CD penetrating the liver, you are able to see a uh, radio opaque area which is the portal vein is what you need to remember. The earlier one is said. Then uh, what is this vessel in the angiography? So you must know what are the branches of the iota. So you should be very sure. Inferophrenic, adrenal, renal, lumbar arteries, then uh, inferomycentric, superomycentric, gonadal, etc. So, it is a superomycentric artery which is being shown to you and you should know what are the branches of the superomycentric artery. So, the hepatic artery, right renal artery, inferomycentric artery, splenic artery, left renal artery. So, you must uh, be very sure and aligned very well with uh, the aortic, uh, abdominal aortic branches. Some of you are going to be future interventional uh, radiologists. That's a dream of examiner. Eh? Then, Simon squeeze means what? This is one of the old questions of uh, AIMS PGI in all question banks. Suppose if there is any premature ejaculation, the partner, sex partner or the person himself will squeeze the glands so that the orgasm trying to build in the person, brain is the biggest sex organ, right? So that there is a breakdown. So he doesn't ejaculate. So once more he continues. So that's uh, uh, repeatedly doing that is basically called the Simon squeeze technique for management of premature ejaculation. A patient with road traffic accident repeatedly every time he looks at a fan he is remembering the, the trauma. What is that called? Post traumatic stress disorder. For at least one more month. Uh, any MCQ you see, you feel uh, ah, useless question, useless question. After that, you start loving the exercise once more. So, give some time for PTSD of need PG to come out. Fruits theory of dream. Why do we dream? Why do we get specific dream? So, according to the fruit, segment fruit. Dream is, the purpose of the dream is to satisfy through fantasy and an instinct to urge of what otherwise the society judges unacceptable. Right? That is the purpose of dream. So, how do we dream? Why do we dream? That particular dream. Displacement, condensation, symbolization, projection. These are the stages of dreaming. So, um, displacement means if you hate Mr. Appleby, in the dream your boss Appleby comes, he looks like a rotating apple. So, that is the typical displacement that you will show, the hatred that you have on that guy. Symbolism is unconsciously you use some acceptable image. To symbolize an unacceptable latent element is basically called symbolism. A vagina is represented by a hollow box. So, what the psychiatrists do, their job is very easy. They will sit on the side of your couch and ask, ah, what else came in your dream? What else came in your dream? And slowly, they will interpret those dreams and try to give this is the basis why you are getting that dream. Right? Then, that unconscious disjointed images that you produce through condensation, displacement, symbolism, a subco a coherent story banate. That is secondary revision. 
and that is how you are the story that comes in your dream has got a basis in the background the long story huh? so I leave the literature for you to dream about it now but that is a very tough question to crack unless you have done diploma psychiatry still there is no guarantee expression and consequent release of a previous repressed emotion what do you call it as it is called abreaction in psychiatric terms so uh, typically post traumatic stress disorders hysteria etc uh, when there is an extreme stress so that repressed uh, memories of that if you bring it back into the consciousness then that is called abreaction therapy only if you pull back those uh, uh, things and bring it into forgotten things into conscious level and recognize them then only you will overcome that right that is the purpose of high yield topics what is the purpose of high yield topics pharmacology may we did not study autonomic nervous system pharmacology we left the topic like that we suppressed in brain level that that is a topic I can't read I will never read we are trying to bring it out and give you an abreaction therapy to say that please read that otherwise examiner will ask the questions on that now these are all habit forming disorders ticks thumb sucking nail biting not temper tantrums temper tantrums are not habit form disorder then what is that new name to the mental retardation according to American Association of Mental Retardation the new name that they gave recently is intellectual disability it has a mild moderate severe based upon your language reading writing ability ability to work and crack need PG etc etc criteria huh? so you must know the criteria next exam they will ask you about uh, how do you define moderate is it a mild in this person or not down syndrome nowadays is called a sub mental disorder because mental retardation is very common in the down syndrome 55 year old alcoholic person irrelevant talk tremor sweating example of classical case study on delirium tremens now what is this typical this is called maltis cross uh, appearance which is typically seen in babesiosis babesiosis is transmitted by exodus tick is what you need to remember for femoropopeliteal bypass you use a um, PTFE covered stents another out of the range question trilene typically trichloroethylene is trilene is degraded by enzymatic degradation but why we remember otherwise trilene trilene should not be used in those closed circuits especially when there is um, soda lime it reacts with it so you can't use it in a closed circuit then third cranial nerve palsy oculomotor supplies controls a recommendation reaction not pupil light react light reflex so when oculomotor is affected light reflex can still be preserved with the derangement of accommodation reflex then during squint surgery um, when the BP falls how do you rise the BP that is one hypotensive shock can occur in strabismus surgery so adrenaline need to be given what do you mean by special efferent uh, uh, column you must know what are general visceral afferent, general visceral efferent, special visceral afferent, special visceral efferent. The classification of embryology, top 20 topics in embryology, it will be there. So, special visceral efferent are those motor fibers which are supplying the larynx. So, trigeminal, facial, glossopharyngeal, vagus, they all supply the larynx. So, they come under special visceral efferent. Parvovirus B19 typically leads to development of erythema infectiosum. Who causes roseola infantum? Human herpes virus 6. All exanthems of a newborn or a pediatric age group. You have to study. What is first disease, second disease, third disease, etc. Hmm? 
Now, iliolumbar ligament, as the name itself says, it doesn't go to the thoracic uh, uh, area. It is the L5, fifth lumbar. There, from the iliac crest to fifth lumbar transverse process, this ligament extends. It is the origin and attachment. Where do you keep the auditory brainstem transplant? Typically, in the recess of the fourth ventricle is the place where you have an external processor, receiver and an implant position nearer to the brain stem. That is how you do it. Congenital lateral hyperplasia will produce excessive amount of sex steroids and that lead to the development of male pseudo hermaphroditism. So, there will be a clitoromegaly because of excessive production of androgens. Uh, in case of a female child with a female karyotype, that lead to development of a pseudo hermaphroditism. So, that is how it happens in congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Ataxia telangiectasia is one of the conditions where AFP levels is increased. Um, then, uh, a diabetic had a post cataract surgery and developed a hypopion. How do you want to manage? There is one indication for intravitreal antibiotics. Neuroretinal image, RIM, what is ISNT rule? This many times we discussed in our mock tests. Uh, basically, if you look at the neuroretinal RIM, it is thickest inferiorly, thinnest temporally. ISNT. What is the thinnest part? Temporarily, thickest part is inferiorly. Then, thick part is superiorly. Then, thicker is nasal. Then, thicker is temporal. Temporal is thickest. Right? So, if there is a glaucoma, then it does not fall into the rule of uh, ISNT. Instead, the atrophy will be there with the vertical thinning of the inferior and superior rims are the ones which are thinned most whenever the glaucomatous expansion occurs against what you otherwise expect with the ISNT rule. In ISNT rule, thickest must be the inferior part, thinnest must be temporal. But in glaucoma, thinnest will become the inferior and superior. That is against the ISNT role. That is how you detect the glaucoma. Right? Now, factor 5 lead on. Thrombophilia means what? Already we discussed. Na? What happens in the normal situation? <coughs> Just now we discussed. Factor 2 becomes the factor 2A because of the intervention of factor 5 and factor 10. Right? In normal process, factor 10, 5 which is being produced must be made inactivated. If you do not inactivate it, continuously thrombin keep forming. Right? Who inactivates factor 5? There is a protein C and protein S which will do that function. In some people, Protein C, protein S cannot degrade the factor 5. So, factor 5 remains forever active, excessively. That will cause excessive conversion of 2 into 2A and excessive thrombin lead to a procoagulant state. So, procoagulant state occurring because of the factor 5 abnormal feature that is called factor 5 lead on is the gene. Right? So, that makes it resistant to be degraded by the protein C and protein S and that predisposes to prothrombotic state. Okay? Now, antiversion of uterus is because of the round ligament is the one which maintains the antiversion. Pelvic inflammatory disease in long run will lead to the incipitation of pus and lead to development of pyometra. This red soft swelling that you are seeing on the biopsy of the sternum is a classical gross appearance of a hemangioma, hemangioma, 
Delirium is immediate. Suddenly delirium develops. Dementia takes a long period of time before it develops. That's the difference between the two. Then genital warts are human papilloma. Ah, I think easiest question. You can think that's non-existent question. But this is a brainy question once more. Pregnancy may which antiretroviral drugs that you use. Every time they ask this question. So you must know what is the regimes that are used in the management of uh, pregnancy and HIV positive. Dorsal mesentery typically uh, gives rise to greater momentum. So you must know how the mesentery is being divided into which is a supporting tissue for managing uh, the um, surrounding structure around small intestine. Now in the x-ray, what is the structure? This is a stunt in the ureter. So what is shown is a stunt. Then uh, what is that stone shown? Bladder may stones. If you answer that you get the need PG. Then uh, uh, 